I'm James Deemer, the Audio Nomad. Today's review is on the Fang Sound Silenos desktop amplifier. This thing is super, super awesome. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned. But before we get into that, wanna remind you that we're doing a giveaway every review. Like, subscribe, comment, look for your name pinned to the top of next week's review to see if you've won and hopefully you have. I ran the Chicago Marathon a couple days ago. It's a Tuesday right now, and I, it was a Sunday race. I basically sometimes run marathons or trail races or runs while recording audio, and I decided to use the Kiwi Ears Orchestra Light for this last Chicago Marathon. Why? Because they are phenomenal, they're accurate, they're detailed, they're super comfortable, and for the four hours or so that I was wearing these, recording audio and listening to all the people around me, they performed flawlessly. So we're gonna give away, not the set that I wore because they're gross, but we'll give away a, a new set of Kiwi Ears Orchestra Light. But let's get into the video. I'd actually never heard of Fang Sound until Lin Sol sent me this little Fang Sound Silenos desktop amplifier and I've done some research. It's a fairly new Chinese company that is really focusing on one thing, and that's making extremely, extremely high quality headphone amplifiers. To date, I believe they only have two models, the Silenos, which is the one I have here, which is smaller and less expensive. It comes in at $459. And the Ariadne, which is much larger, I believe it's more powerful, although I God knows why, because this thing is so powerful already. Has more features. Maybe it sounds better. Also, I find that hard to believe. And that's, I believe, $18.99 for the Ariadne. But I don't have the Ariadne, so we're gonna talk about the Silenos. I'm not really a desktop headphone amplifier kind of guy. I'm an on-the-go kind of guy. I use IEMs mostly because I'm traveling a lot. Even when I'm at home, I'm puttering around the house, working on projects, fixing things, making things, making dinner, whatever it is. So I tend to use things that work in my pocket, like little DAC dongles or just a, a, a dongle that goes into my phone. However, I do like sitting down from time to time and really immersing myself in music. It's such a nice treat and the Fang Sound Silenos, I would say gave me a newfound interest in sitting down and critically listening to music and, and just sort of tuning everything else out because it sounds so darn good. Now, I did pair it with the Mod House Tungsten version two, which I just got. And this is an exceptional set of headphones. Possibly unlike the version one, this is a little bit easier to drive, but it's still a fairly hard to drive headphone. And so I thought it would be a good pairing to see how the Fang Sound Silenos pairs with the Mod House Tungsten two. It really just comes in, you know, a very simple cardboard box. It's actually double boxed, so it comes in an outer box, and then this is the inner box. You can see it's pretty simple. It's got some laser cut open cell foam, and it has some specs on the back of the box. And then it actually has kind of a nice picture, or at least a sort of a line drawing printed on the front of this cardboard box. You know, I like simplicity and I like that they didn't put a lot of money into fancy packaging. This is also fairly recyclable. So I wouldn't say that the user manual is particularly useful or super informative. However, it does give you a little bit of a, a primer into who Fang Sound is. One of the things it says is that their lead engineer has spent 10,000 hours critically listening and tuning these little amplifiers. So. It's pretty clear that a lot of attention and effort has gone into this amplifier. You know, Chinese audio products are catching up very, very quickly to high-end audiophile products from other parts of the world. 
Frankly, Chinese running shoes are extremely, extremely cutting edge and competitive compared to Western brand running shoes. I ran the Chicago Marathon in Chowdan Plaid 1.5s, which is a Chinese carbon plated running shoe. They're fantastic. The power cable that I got is a European power cable. It's not one that is compatible with US power outlets. So I had to go out and buy a, a power cable. I'm guessing by the time you purchase one on Linsole, if you're in the United States, it will come with a proper power cable. I did check with the folks at Linsole and they said, yes, it would. So hopefully that's the case. Another thing that I'm not completely crazy about is the, the USB-C input. It just feels a little bit wiggly and flimsy. Well, it's worked totally fine to date and I've used it now for a few weeks. It's probably just my imagination, but I feel like I want something a little more substantial. Another little nitpick I have is with the set screw on the master volume control. It's a really nice, very, very smooth potentiometer that you control the master volume with, but the set screw, when you turn the amplifier up halfway is vertical sticking up and there's no cap on it. It's just sort of like a hole where there's a black, I'm guessing it's an Allen head that uh, holds the knob onto the inner knob for the potentiometer. And I kind of wish they'd put like a little cap or some sort of cover over that. But that's probably about my only aesthetic or mechanical nitpick of this unit. Well, there actually is one other thing, and it's when I power it on, it takes a little bit of time for audio to come out of the headphone jack. And I tried it both with 4.4, 3.5, and the four pin XLR termination like. Let me tell you what my audio chain is. I go USB-C out of my MacBook Pro into the DAC in on the back of the Fang Sound Silenos amplifier. I make sure in my system settings on my MacBook that Fang Sound is selected. So the first time I did this, I didn't hear anything. I thought it was weird. I unplugged the USB-C cable that goes into the DAC and uh, heard music coming out of the speakers on my computer. So I plugged it back in. I think I walked away, I might have made an espresso or I don't know, I did something. I came back and I heard audio out of the right ear on the headphone. And I thought, well, this is kind of weird. And I waited a little bit longer and then I heard audio come out of the left as well as the right. And after some experimentation, I learned that this happens every time with this amplifier. And the longer it sits not turned on, sort of the longer it takes for that audio to come out of both channels. Like, you know, the most it takes is two minutes. The least it took was maybe 10 seconds. And I don't know if that's a problem with this particular amplifier or if that's the, the architecture that is built into this amp. But uh, at the date of this review, I haven't gotten an answer yet. So this chunky little amplifier weighs quite a bit, and that's because it's machined from one solid block of aluminum. It has quite a nice cooling fin design with both fins on the top that also kind of vent through to the side, both on the left and the right. And that's a really nice touch. I never felt this amplifier get hot particularly um, at all. I actually never noticed that, but I would imagine that if you're gaining this thing up quite a bit, it might get hot. It puts out 14 watts. It It's extremely powerful. Like, I know it's not impedance matched for it, but you could for sure drive a set of home speakers off of this little DAC amplifier. One thing that I think would be really interesting is using it as a preamp for your speakers, and it's actually set up to do that. Not only does it have 3.5 unbalanced, 4.4 balanced for headphones, it also has a quarter inch unbalanced jack and a 4.4 balanced input for headphones. So I can't think of any other 
input that you might want, except for maybe uh, a he like one of the ones that's on an airplane. I mean, this really has it all. It's got one, two, three, four. And the other thing that it has on the front is this big, beautiful volume knob that's connected to a, I believe it's a digital potentiometer. It's extremely smooth, works really well. On the back, you've got your power in. It does work with both 120 and 220 AC. It has two three pin XLR balanced inputs. It has the 4.4 pre out, if you wanna use this as a pre amplifier, on off switch, and then it has a low high gain so that you can adjust the, the output gain. In terms of gain, what I found is that coming out of the MacBook Pro into the Fang Sound Side Lenos with the USB C, so digital out, digital in, and plugging the Modhouse Tungsten 2 into the 4.4 balance jack. On high gain, like I might have turned the volume knob up 20% to get to extremely loud listening levels. I actually found that I used it in low gain mode and would get the volume knob at about halfway so that that dot or the set screw was kind of vertical and I would play with it from there depending on the um, the music that I was listening to and the volume that I wanted to achieve. So it really is extremely powerful and extremely capable. I'm not an electrical engineer and I don't entirely understand why GAN or gallium nitride chips are better than silicone chips for the power supply. But the reading I did said that they are, and I believe it's because they are more dense and they hold more power, they're more efficient than a typical silicon-based semiconductor. So the dual GAN semiconductors that are used in this power supply participate in making the overall architecture a much more quiet and more efficient switching power supply. That's part of the reason that I think you can have such a small unit with so much power. I mean, this thing really does pack a wallop. So to recap, here's what you get for your 459 hard-earned dollars in the Fang Sound Silenos. You're getting many, many hours, frankly, many years of a passionate engineer's research and development and testing into just one or two products. Currently, Fang Sound, I believe, only makes two products. I can't really think of anything else to say about the Fang Sound Silenos, except for maybe, you know, I'll have it at a few of the can jams coming up. Uh, Dallas, uh, Capital Audio Fest. I'm going to Toronto Audio Fest this weekend. So if you happen to be in Toronto or Dallas or the DC area or New York City for next year's Can Jam, try out the Fang Sounds I Lenos. We'll have the, the Mod House Tungsten there as well. Put any questions in the comments, I'll do my best to answer them. And I hope you get a chance to try this little amp out. What amp do you use on your desk? And what did you pay for it? And what characteristics do you like about it or don't you like? I'd love to know. I'm James Steamer, the Audio Nomad. Thanks for watching and we'll see you later. This video is brought to you by Linsoul.com. Linsoul sells IEMs, headphones, amplifiers, digital to analog converters, cables, really just about anything you could want for personal hi-fi or even home hi-fi. Their prices are great, the quality is exceptional, and their customer service is really second to none. Check them out in the link below.